is Australia losing leadership? It seems to me that you had a leadership in trying to having a carbon tax. Mm -hmm. Putting a price in carbon is absolutely essential. There are different ways of doing it, but you've basically I, I, what I see going on right now is is a step backward. Ross uh, what do you think? Is a, it, it, it is a step backward in the sense that even if uh, in a, a Palmer-style yeah. emissions trading scheme was put in place, there'd be no price on carbon. Yeah, well, I've had a couple of chats with Clive Palmer, a long one in front of you, Tony, uh, uh, about uh, uh, climate change. And That's uh, when he didn't believe in climate change two months ago. No, and, uh, and, <laughs> and, and I think Australia's much better off now that he does and, uh, 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 and uh, that he wants an emissions trading scheme. We, we've got a very good emissions trading scheme in place now, so uh, it'd be much easier to keep the current one than scrap it and build another one. Uh, but it's, it's not, the, not just the way... In in which you re reduce emissions. Uh, uh, China, uh, I'd go further than Joe, it's not, not that China may have a carbon tax, it will have a carbon tax and probably an emissions trading scheme as well. They've already got an emissions trading scheme working in uh, um, five cities and two provinces, a couple hundred million people. And, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and they've got a myriad of regulatory interventions. Exactly. Uh, if, if, you're, if you were running yeah. a... A, uh, a coal uh, power station like they do down in the Latrobe Valley in Victoria or the Hunter Valley, you'd be told to close it. Or you would have been given a few months uh, to, to get emissions down to a certain standard or, or close it. And they were, uh, So uh, uh, it's, not, it's not just the emissions trading scheme that we should look at. Uh, about two years ago, two and, two and a half years ago, uh, uh, the, uh, Clint, the uh, Obama administration in the United States was in the position that Australia's in now. It had wanted to introduce an emission trading scheme, and uh, uh, and it it, it didn't and it have never the will. it didn't have the support of uh, uh, of the Congress. It went through the House of Representatives, but it was filibustered in the Senate. And then after the 2010 congressional elections, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, I had a long yarn to uh, Obama's uh, uh, Minister for Energy, Secretary for Energy, Stephen Chu, who knows a bit about these things. Uh, Clinton appointed him as uh, Secretary for Energy because he had a Nobel Prize in physics and knew all about climate change. Uh, and uh, uh, and I, I said to Stephen Chu, uh, doesn't the, the, uh, uh, the defeat of the emissions trading scheme mean that you're going to be battling to, to meet the President's commitment to reduce emissions by 17% by 2020? He said, look, don't, don't worry, Ross. Uh, we wanted to reach our ambitious emissions reduction targets in a low-cost way that did a minimum business, uh, minimum damage to business and American households. Uh, but the Congress has stopped us doing that. We'll reach our target, but we'll do it in a way that does more damage to our business and... Uh, by and regulation. By regulation. And, and they that's, are doing that's that. what the United mm -hmm. States is doing. In the last two years, mm -hmm. the President's made three separate announcements that have, one by one, implemented all of the measures that, in that long conversation, Stephen Chu told me they were going to do. Mm -hmm.